you can win up to $32,000 on a single time of car on the Tournament of Champions of Card Sharks. And now, here is your host, the star of Card Sharks, Brandon Martin. Hello ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the last of the quarterfinal matchup of the Card Sharks Tournament of Champions. Glad to have you with us. We are going to have an awesome time. And we are. So, before I go with those two contestants, one of those two will move on to the set my finals with the second one to face Kevin Henry. So now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First off, we'll have the number six rank of the tournament. We got Mr. Ricky Johnson. Ricky, welcome. What's up? Not much. Well, during your season of Car Sharks of season one, you had three wins and thirteen thousand. Six hundred dollars. Nice. Yep. Throughout the season. Hopefully you will move on to the semis. I'll try. Well, good luck to you, Rick. And for the opponent for Rick, we were supposed to have Mr. AJ Richards, the number three seed, but he's not... Actually, he's not responding to that, but... But we're not going to let him move on. But I'm going to actually have one of them replacing AJ. And it's going to be Mr. Mister Andrew St. Clair. Andrew, welcome. Who's you? Hello. Denied. And... Hello. Oh, hello, Andrew. Well, throughout, throughout this season one of Card Sharks... You have two wins and seven thousand nine hundred dollars. Nice. And hopefully you move on yes. to the semis as well. Yep. Well, best of luck to you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck, Rick. Thanks, Andrew. All right. And guys, you're to cut your cars before we went on the air. I think we'll take that as a yes. So, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get started with the best two games out of three. And this first question will go to Rick. Rick, we asked one of your men, and we and we asked them, "Have you ever spent the night on a park bench?" How many men admitted they have? not ever spent the night in a bench it would not only would it hurt my or their back it would uh, or probably not get you any sleep so but out of a hundred I'll say 32 of them okay 32 out of the hundred say that they that the men admitted they have slept or actually spent the night on a park bench so Andrew higher or lower than 32 Uh, I, I, I agree with Rick, but I'm going to say the number is even lower. Lower than that. I say lower. Okay, lower than that. And if it's lower than that, well, you'll play your cards, Andrew. If not, it will go to Rick. The actual number of people they have admitted, that men admitted they have spent the night on a park bench is 14. You got it, Andrew. It is lower. Yay. All right. Andrew, you have the right to keep your card or change it. Your base card start off with the last of the quarterfinals. We'll ha you have a jack. I will keep the card, and I will go lower. Lower than jack. A two. Higher. Higher than a two. A queen. Lower than a queen, an eight, right up the middle. Freeze. 
All right, we'll freeze it right there, needing one more card to win game one. Next question will go to you, Andrew. Andrew, we, we have surveyed 100 first grade children and we asked them, have you ever stayed up until midnight? How many first graders said yes, they have stayed up until midnight? Stay up till midnight. That is, you know, when they're first grade. I'm gonna say that's a relatively low number. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 21. Okay, 21 out of the hundreds say that that the first graders say yes, they have stayed up until midnight. So Rick, higher or lower than 21? I'll say a smidge higher. A smidge higher. The actual number of first graders say yes, they have stayed up until midnight is 51. You got it, Rick. It is higher. More than I thought it was. Well, all right. So, Rick, you have the right to keep your card or change it if you want. Your base card start off with the last of the quarterfinal matchup is an ace. Lower. Lower than the ace of 10. Lower. All right, risking it. Lower than a 10. No, it's an ace. Well, take away those two cards. So, Andrew, you have a free shot to play off of that eight. All right, for the first game of the match, Lord in the eight, and he's done it with a seven. All right. Andrew won first game for that. One more to move on to the semis. And for you, Rick, it's time for you to play some catch up. Alright, here we go. We're dealing out the same five decks of cards for both of you guys to start off that's game. A, that's, that's a lot of cards. You need, you need a lot of cards. Bad. Yep. Alright. There we go. Alright. The cards are all decked out and ready to go for game two. Alright. We move on to the second round. With this first game, actually, yeah, second round of the second game, we'll go to the one and only Rick. Rick, we asked 100 people, and we asked them, have you ever shaken hands with the President of the United States? How many say they had shaken hands with the President of the United States? Uh, it's Rick. Oh, actually, it's you, Andrew. Excuse me. Uh, I, 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 Yes, and this is goes to Rick. I did, go, go ahead, Rick. 20. Okay, 20 out of the 100 say they have shaken hands with the President of the United States. Now, Andrew, higher or lower than 20? Well, this will be interesting. Uh, obviously, you know, the convention, stuff like that. Uh, I understand that. Uh... Higher than that. Well, the extra number of people say they have shaken hands with the President of the United States is only seven of them. 
Not higher was lower. Seven. Only seven of them. Well, Rick. That, 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 that reminds me of a story here. Uh, uh, when 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 my my niece was was a little, she had he got kissed on the cheek by a. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Vice President to Bush. And my brother said, Oh no, her life is ruined forever! <laughs> Gore, Al Gore. Okay. Story. <laughs> yep, alright. Alright, Rick. It's time for you to play some catch up. And you have, you have the right to keep your card or change it. Your base card to start off. The second game, it is a six. Change it. Alright, when you win that question, you have the right to change it. Six now becomes a four. Higher. Hide on the four. Oh no, a pair. Other mm. card shark. Oh man. Well, Andrew, you have a free shot to play off of this card in which you can't not change the card you did not want to question. You must play off of this one. An eight, right up the middle. Higher. Higher on the eight. A nine. Okay, we'll freeze it right there. Needing three more cards to move on to the semis. And we'll fill in that space for Rick. And we'll move on to the next question. It's going to go to you, Andrew. Okay. We surveyed 100 men and we asked them, Do you wear socks to bed? How many people, how many men say, Yes, they do wear socks to bed? I I personally wear socks when I go to bed sometimes because my feet get cold. Uh, I'm gonna say that the, the, the relatively middle number I'm gonna say. Uh, let's have, let's have a little fun here. Why not? Justin, this is for you, man. 69! <laughs> uh, uh, uh. 69 out of the 100 say they do wear socks to bed. So, Rick, higher or lower than 69? <laughs> <laughs> I, say, I say lower. Lower than that. Well, the action of men, they say, yes, they do wear socks to bed, is 20. You got it, Rick. It is lower. What if we do 69 with the number? That'd be fun. Yep. <laughs> Oh man. Well, Rick, you have a you have a four. You can keep the card or change it if you want. Keep it higher. Higher on the four. A ten. I'll freeze this time. Okay, we're freezing right there. Both of them need three cards. All right. Next question will go to you, Rick. Rick, we started with hundred men, and we asked him. Do you know how to knit? How many men say yes, they do know how to knit? To knit. K I N. Okay, 25 out of the 100 say they know how to knit. So, Andrew, higher or lower than 25? Oh, uh, no, how to knit. No, how to knit. No. Ladies, more, ladies knit more than men. I must say. I'm going to say that I would say the number is even lower. Even lower than that. Well, the extra number of men they know they do know how to knit is 13. You got it, Andrew. It is lower. But it, 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 it made sense personally. All right, Andrew. You have that nine. You can keep it or change it. I like to change that card, please. Nine now becomes a three. Higher. Higher than a three and eight, right up the middle. Um, I'm gonna go on. I would say lower. Going on lower than the eight, a five. Freeze. 
Freeze. Ooh, he wants to be safe on the five. Okay, then. Needing one more card to move on to the semis. And here we go, guys. This is sudden death time. Someone must win the next play at the cards. And this last question will go to Andrew. We surveyed 100 people and we asked them, Do you have dandruff? How many people say they do have dandruff? Uh, what if they do have dandruff? Oh, uh, most people have dandruff, either you know, have so supposed to do it, but uh, what, what, what do they do? Uh, they at least for us sometimes. Uh, I'm going to say. I would say right in the middle. I'm going to say 50. Okay, 50 out of the 100 right. say they do have dandruff. So, Rick, higher lower than 50? Lower. Lower than that. Well, for all complete control of the cards, the actual number of people they do have dandruff is 29. You got it, Rick. It is lower. All right, Rick, and here is the situation for you. You have a 10, and yet you need three cards to tie up the match. If you want to, you have the right to change your card if you play it. But on the other hand, Andrew has a 5. He cannot change his 5. He must play off of that 5 and only need one card to win the semifinals. I'll pass it. All right, Andrew. This is all on you. You have a five. Call it right. Uh, the the, the chances are good, but I but who knows? But if I lose, I lose. But I might go higher. All right. To move on to the semifinals, higher on the five. No, it's a four. So Rick ties up the match. Uh, good, good, good. Darn it, good thing, good thing I froze there, or else I've lost all my cards. Yep. All right. Here we go, we're going into the tiebreaker. Someone must win the game, and someone will move on to the semifinals to face Kevin Henry. All right. The cards are, the three decks of cards are all set up for both of you guys for tiebreaker. And here we go. We'll start off with the tiebreaker. And for this question, we'll go to you, Rick. Sure. All right. Stand by. Here we go. No, stand by. Here we go. So, Rick, we, uh, we started 100 people, and we asked them, do you think politicians are basically honest? How many people say yes, they think politicians are basically honest? 45. Okay, 45 out of the 100 say they, they do think politicians are basically honest. So, Andrew, how do you learn 45? Oh, man. Uh, politicians are honest. <laughs> well, with all the negativity, unfortunately, and, and you know something? I hate to say it, but I think the number is lower. Lower than that. I think politicians are going to a chance here, but uh, all the negativity, so I'm going to say no. I'm going to say lower. Okay, fair enough. Well, the actual number of people that they think politicians are basically honest is 17. You got it, Andrew. It is lower. All right. All right, Andrew. You have the right to keep your card or change it. Your base card to start off the tiebreaker game is a 7. Change that card, please. 7 now becomes a 2. Higher! Higher to a king! Lower! 
Here we go for an upset. To move on to the semis. Lord of the King. And you and move on to the semis. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, good job. Thank you, good, good, good game, Rick. Uh, it was good. Good game, Andrew. All thank right. Andrew, Andrew St. Clair, we will see you for the semifinals. And Rick, I know you had a good run in the tournament, but we're not done yet. You're going to be playing for a consolation prize of $32,000, and we'll do that right after this. So stick with us. That's enough for me. Welcome back to Card Sharks, guys. And we have Ricky Johnson, who will play get a shot out of a consolation prize of $32,000 to his season's total. And hopefully you will add that on to it. So, Rick, you already know how to play the money cards? Yep. Alright, for the five folks of whom doesn't know how to play, I'll give them the quick one round rundown for that. We'll start you at the bottom level, $200 with the four cards with, with a minimum anchor bets of $50. When you move up to that next level, we'll add $400 more to it and three more cards. Same thing, minimum anchor bets of $50. All the way until you get to that top card of that big bet, you must risk at least half the money. There's three cards to provide you in which you can change one card per each level. Get all the way, double, double, all the way to the top. You will get $32,000. Yeah. Well, Rick... Good luck to you, and here is two hundred dollars. All right, Rick. We'll start you at the bottom of the need to. We got two hundred dollars and a six. And a what? Six. Six. Uh, a six. Yep. Change up with number one. All right, you can change one card per each level. Six now becomes, ah, uh, man, another six. Okay, well, let's go a hundred higher. One hundred dollars higher than a six. Yes, with a nine, three hundred dollars. Okay, fifty lower. Remember, bet fifty dollars lower than a nine. No, it's a king. You're down to two fifty. And a queen. Actually, a king. Two hundred. Oh, I'll go all in lower. Ooh, we do not want to see an ace on this one. All in, Lord and the King. Yes, you double up to five hundred dollars. All right, we're moving up that am. nine onto the board. We'll add four hundred dollars more to it, and you now have nine hundred dollars and a nine. Oh, change up with number two. All right. Nine now becomes a five. Okay, let's do 200 higher. $200. Higher than five. Yes, for the king, you're up to $1,100. Okay. $800 lower. $800 lower. Lower than the king. No, an ace. Down to 300. All of it lower. You cannot lose on that one, and you got it with a 10. You're out now up to $600. Move that up to the Change big bit. That's number three. All right. Hopefully, it's a good one. 10 now becomes a three, and you must risk at least $300. 400 high. 400 higher. All right. Whether it be 200 or $1,000. For four hundred dollars, hundred and three, and you got it with a jack. Well, thousand dollars, at least better than nothing on that one. Right. Yep. We'll add that on to the thirteen thousand six hundred dollars you won for one previously throughout the season. That gives you your final season winnings total of. Fourteen thousand six hundred dollars. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Well, guys, that's going to be all the time we have right. for this time out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. And if you like the Card Sharks Tournament of Champions last of the quarterfinals, please go ahead and give this a thumbs up. And please like this video. Leave a comment. And if you're brand new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And also, don't forget to tap that notification bell under my name, Brandon Martin, on your YouTube app so you'll never miss an upload or live stream. And I will see you guys for the first of the quarter of the actually the semifinals of the Card Sharks Tournament of Champions. So take care, guys, and goodbye for now. Card Sharks! It's a Brandon Martin television production and associated with YouTube Games Entertainment and MVG Productions.